Alright, let's just start the video now. I know it's a little delayed, but uh... It's weird, because my camera shows, like, there's a lot of light in the room when I start recording. It, it's all dark all of a sudden, even though I have, like, a lot of light in here. I don't know why it's been so stupid. Anyways, I'm gonna get on the video right now. Here is a parademon. Let's see it in there, it's pretty cool. Sorry, uh, just changed my mind, and, um, I feel like building a bunch of DC figures with Marvel would be a little bit controversial, so I'm just gonna do the Marvel ones now, and build the other ones in my own time. But this is Sandman, so sorry I'm not gonna show you a of the Parademon, cause, um, I didn't even start making it yet. I'm just gonna show the Marvel ones, especially, um... So they're just not DC. I mean, DC has good figures too, but I'm just not gonna show them because they're not gonna they're not gonna be built correctly or whatever, and they're not gonna fit in very well with the course topic. All right, here is Sandman. Wow, that looks like a really cool figure with the giant sand thing. And I got this Iron Man helmet here for some light, because it's not shining very well in here for some reason. Believe me, this is a lot better than it is. And it came with this really tiny stand. The stand's not really important, but the point is, well, you can see how small it is. And, uh, it didn't fit on here, so, yeah. This is Sandman. Let's put him to the side. Here is Rescue. Rescue to the rescue. Here I have two rescues. I don't know why I have two rescues, but I do. <laughs> um, and yet this isn't the only rescue I have. I have another uh, variation. These are the same, these two are the same variation, but they come with interchangeable parts and I'm just showing you you can have rescue on her own like this or you can have her like this it's a little uh, photon cannon or something like that it's like a photon cannon and a little, little power blast I think that is looks pretty cool so yeah those to the side. Next we'll do Endgame Quantum Realm Hulk. Here is Endgame Hulk. It looks pretty cool. I do like that look. It's room. It's very well detailed. The head and the hair do come off. I don't know why, but, um, it's cool. I don't know if that's, like, a feature or even relevant or not, but it's nice to just mess around with. Of course the arms come off, too, but all, all kind of Legos, uh, giant figures like this do that. It's just, um, with these, uh, bootlegs, I should say. Um... The hair and the heads come off, or I don't know why, but again, it's still a really cool feature that I like. And when I say bootleg, I don't mean it with any disrespect, it's just, um, it's what it is. It's not like an original Lego. So I'm just trying to address it what it is. This is Iron Man, in Infinity War Iron Man. Pretty cool. I'll open that next. Here's the Iron Man Infinity War variation. It's pretty cool, as you can see there, it has its own custom armor. Chest plate armor, it's really cool. It is actually a piece. So that's really nice looking. It's 
So. Yeah, it makes them look pretty realistic looking and re um it looks it makes the armor piece makes uh, his chest look more realistic instead of just like flat like a Lego or something. So that's pretty nice detail. Here is the Avengers and Who's that? I don't know why there was a barcode on it. Oops, I ripped it. Anyways, here's the end game. Avengers, uh, I, oh, jeez. <laughs> Avengers, uh, Iron Man end game. The, uh, armor. Here is the individual armor piece. Oops. There, turn my Iron Man helmet on so I can get more light in here. Jeez. Um, it is really cool. It looks exactly like Iron Man's armor. I mean, it's like, it's like dead on. I can't even, I don't know, like, it's, it's too perfect. Like, it's, it's so perfect that it's, uh, it should be illegal. And this is the Avengers Endgame Iron Man armor. As you can see, I put the armor on to show you how cool it looks. And this is how it came, but I just wanted to show you the piece individually just to show how much it makes him really look like Iron Man. That to the side. Next, we're going to do Captain Marvel, different, um, or this is a Captain Marvel, and then next will be a Chitarian, a foot soldier figure. Here is the Captain Marvel figure, looking really cool, look at that, those eyes and the face looks really really angry I upset that uh my boy Thanos she really she really wants to mess Thanos up I like the hair I don't know why I just like that look so she looked in the movie of course the Avengers Endgame I just, for some reason, I feel like the hair is way more too accurate than I think, than it, than it, um, more accurate. It's just very accurate looking. Okay, never mind. Here's the Chitarian foot soldier. I believe it was not in Endgame, I know it was in Endgame, but rarely seen with Thanos' army. Um, yeah, mostly known for the Battle of New York. Alright, I think I put this together right. Uh, this is the Chitarian Foot Soldier. I know I already showed you Rescue, Avengers Endgame, Iron Man, and Infinity War Iron Man, but they have different variations now, and this is the Chitari guy. So first I'm going to show you a different uh, version of Rescue, a different uh, variation, or like, uh, it's the pieces are different, and the, the the model and design's a little bit different. Alright, here's another variation of Rescue. Oh, that is just so cool. Um, yeah. 
I know it looks like the chest is standing out a little bit right here. Actually, that is a... There's actually a chest piece custom made. That was really cool. And the armor set and sits right there. Could only fit on the chest. That's nice. Not a big fan of this though. I don't think Rescue has these little blue things coming out of her. Whatever that is. <laughs> Saying not a big fan of that, but um. Yeah, sorry, it took a while for uh, to make the figure because um. The head was incredibly loose, and I couldn't work with it, so I switched off this rescue's head. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Come on, I work with me, alright. I switched the rescue's head. Remember, this is the one, that's rescue's original head for this figure. And the head there is the one for... This rescue that wouldn't fit, um, the, or the helmet wouldn't fit onto the head. So, so both of the um, helmets fit into the head, and this one is still kind of loose, but a lot less than before. So yeah, talk about a win-win. Oh, by the way, this one's a little bit purple. That's fine, and this one's like a dark blue-ish kind of. No, oh, dark blue. Am I just like colorblind? No, that's a dark blue. It's not really purple. I think Rescue's armor is purple. I don't know why it's like a dark blue. You know what? I'm not gonna judge or whatever. It's the way it is, it's the way it is. Here we have Avengers Endgame, Iron Man. I did save the best for the last. Honestly, I thought the rescue was going to be the best for last, but, um. I don't know why, but the head being loose, kind of, I don't know, it just, it kind of made me a little bit disappointed in the figure for some reason. For some reason, I don't understand why. Also, because it's, like, dark blue, and in the movie... She was like purple, but I, I gotta hand it to the the body design here. It's it's that's the it's literally the best. It's like that on any of the figures, so truth be told, I can't be too picky because it looks pretty good. Movie accurate. Of course. Just the head being loose and the dark blue armor is not really selling me on this. It's like, it's like nope, I don't buy it. <laughs> well, hey, whatever, maybe I can make some tweaks. Let's find out. Here's the Avengers Endgame Iron Man figure. Amazing details on the shield. It's a custom piece. And the armor too is standing out because it's kind of like the rescue armor and this is the back. Little studs popping out. I don't know what to do about those, but nothing goes to those. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting tired, man. Right, last but not least, Iron Man Infinity War armor. And the last.
last figure is Avengers Infinity War Iron Man. Yep, that's his shield from F Infinity War. Also, the proton can or plasma cannon, the plasma blaster, whatever that thing is. It's right here. Pretty cool. Of course, these little antennas or whatever the things that are in the back of them are. And that concludes this video. I'm done now because I'm really tired and it's time to go to bed. <laughs> Alright, I'll see ya. Bye.